What's up, gang? About to do some brakes. There's a new brake disc. Some pads. Same stuff. We gotta get rid of this and put this in there. Before you do anything, when you jack up your car like this, make sure you got it on jack stands. Don't just jack up your car and leave the jack. You go up in there and start working. That's crazy. Your jack gives out and that's it. Game over. All right. Put on jack stands and start working. Okay, let's get to this. I'm gonna remove the caliper. There's two bolts that hold this piece onto the disc to get to the brake pads. Uh, I'm gonna get this bolt out, the 10 millimeter socket. And this should swing out. We'll have access to the pads. And then we'll get the disc out. Let's get to it. Oh, check this out. You can see the thickness on this guy. Right on the edge, that's gone. So that's that's normal when it's worn out. But This is just gone though. Was I driving like that? Yeah. Fuck. There's a notepad. Fail, huh? It's been grinding like crazy these past two days. All right, so that's trash. I'll put these on, but I gotta get the disc. So I gotta remove this caliper out of the way. The whole bracket. There's two big bolts that are holding this into the back. On the bottom one on top. Uh, 17 millimeter, I believe. Let's check it out. Yeah, 17 it is. Let's get this out. So there's a the caliper. Now you can't just, I've seen that a lot, you just leave it hanging right there, but that's gonna kink your brake hose, man. So get a string, get a string, a bungee cord, something, just a control arm or something, spring. Just hold it up there, just secure it in place. So let's do that real quick. screw right there and a screw right there you should have two of them a lot of people have one I've seen cars with none everything just holds in but these things they are a bitch to take out you can get your hand the screwdriver and just I mean they won't come out you'll strip it you'll probably notice yours it's already stripped you're wondering what because the previous owner or somebody else or your other mechanic just 
strip the shit out of it. Ah. Well, this one came out unlucky. Wow. All right, cool. Well, I got lucky on this time. If yours don't come out, I mean, I have a impact screwdriver. It's a, it's a bulky handle type thing, rubber. You put a bit on it, whatever size this is. There's a, there's a kit. They sell at Harbor Freight or any other store. And uh, you hit it with a hammer. You place it on there. So the screw will be on it. And when you hit it, it just turns a little bit. It'll loosen it up from there. You just take it out with your screwdriver. So, impact screwdriver will do a trick on jobs like this. That's all I bought it for, just to do brakes. So, Here's my problem. This is just gone dude. Bad. Horrible. Whack. That's been grinding like crazy, no? Been driving me nuts in the street. There's a new one. Here's the old one. If you're just doing a simple brake job, just go to your nearest auto parts store. And have them resurface your disc. They should tell you if it's reusable or not. If not, just replace them. Put it in wrong. Put it where you see your screws again. Put your screws back on. And tight. And tight. All right, that's it. So now that's in there. All brand new. And I put the caliper back and put the brake pads. Same process, how it came out. Big old bolts back there. Now we put the pads on. We'll put the back one in. As a matter of fact, Let's do the front one first, so I can show you. There's a seat right here, and another piece right here. One has a big old clip on it. I mean, this is for Honda Civic only, so I don't know if all the other cars are the same, but... There's a big old clip on the one pad that goes in the back. The one that's plain goes in the front. And just... Look at your brake pad. Can't go this way. If it doesn't make sense, you're probably putting the other side. The left side set brakes on the right side. Put on the seat first, and then just push it in. Same for the back. Put on the seat on the bottom. Just go right in. Okay, make sure you didn't bend these little brackets where they sit on. It's right in the front, there's two. It's on the back. And then the caliper goes on. Considering the wear out of the old brake pads, 
I mean, you saw the meat on the new ones. The piston is all the way out. So the caliper doesn't go in. You gotta push this sucker all the way in. In order for this to slide in place. But you could use a clamp. A C-clamp. Just get all the pressure, wind it. You start feeling the piston going in. And then unwind it and see if everything everything will fall in place. Another shortcut is just get a screwdriver. And with the same the same bracket it'll go. long screwdriver is hitting the fender you can get an extension just pry that sucker all the way in there they'll just slide right in see that a little bit more That's it. Then you get this one. In the beginning I said this one was with a 10 millimeter socket I think. It's a 12 millimeter socket. My bad. That's it. That's all there is to it boys. all in place just make sure you got everything tight the two big bolts back there this one right here it's two set screws one thing to note when you push that piston in when you're prying that pressure um, your brake fluid might leak from your brake uh, reservoir let's open your hood and check it out if it does you can just refill it and uh, when you're doing both to the front don't just put your wheels on and jack your car down and take off because your brake your brake pedal is gonna feel weird your car might not even stop you gotta pump that sucker maybe two three four five times whatever so just make sure all that's in place put your wheels on check your brake fluid pump your brakes you don't have to bleed them because we're not messing with the we're not messing with the brake lines or bleeding or nothing like that it's just brakes that's it we're going we already did the other side so put my wheels on torque everything down take my jacks off and we're done I hope this was informative to you. This project also helps uh, if you have regular brake discs that don't have the slots or the drill down there or nothing. Go get you a, a set like this. And uh, same way you take everything out, it goes in. It's simple. This is not difficult. I mean, it took me what? whatever the video length was for each side and that's it thanks for watching boys i'll catch you guys next time